Well, uh, as you've seen so far, uh, there's nothing particularly unique about this repair other than it was a little challenging with the sticky reverse unit. Um, but after getting that process uh, to a point that I felt good about, it was time to work on the rest of the engine. And uh, as you've seen me do in many other videos, uh, this was fairly standard. Um, I obviously took everything apart and broke it down into uh, the smallest parts I could get and then started to clean and uh, used cotton sw swabs and alcohol to remove old oil and grease that were built up around uh, the motor assembly and uh, the, even the field. I went ahead and cleaned that uh, as a little bit of a departure from what I've normally done in the past. Then after I finished with the motor pieces, then I moved on to trailer truck wheels. I uh, always like to burnish the metal, which means polishing it up to a real nice sheen. And uh, that seems to do the best job of both electrical contact and resisting dirt. Uh, one of the other things that I did in this video was I took the side rods and everything and uh, polished those up as well. But uh, I didn't really show that on the video clip. So you have to take my word for it. And just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, you'll get notifications of uh, new video releases. Love to have you join the growing group of folks that subscribe to this channel. Also, a bit of a PSA here um, and a reminder that if you're using a high-speed tool to do any cleaning and you're using any sort of attachment on that, especially those with the small wire brushes. Uh, you need to wear protective eyewear because they fly off and uh, certainly can cause a lot of harm if they get in your face and eyes. But back to our project. After getting everything cleaned up very well including uh, using a little soap and uh, water on the shell uh, for the engine as well as the tender, it's time to reassemble things and uh, do a final uh, alignment check of side gear and then do some lubrication and uh, get some power to the system and see what happened. There you have it, the first of the two Royal Blues back to the rails and this is by far one of the smoothest engines I have ever seen. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you continue to follow along as we share more on our bullet repairs. And until next time, take care, enjoy your flyer trains, God bless, we'll see you soon, bye bye.